Conversations between friends are like little adventures, no clear start, no planned ending, just a flow of thoughts and stories that take unexpected turns. And that's what makes them so real, so relatable. In today's video, you're about to dive into one of those long, spontaneous talks between two close friends. So, get comfy, grab a cup of tea or coffee, put on your headphones, and have your notebook ready, you might want to jot down some new words along the way. And hey, before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the MA English channel for more fun, natural conversations that help you learn English in the most enjoyable way possible. Ted, do you ever think about what you'd be doing if life had gone completely differently? Oh, all the time. If I hadn't taken that wrong turn in college and majored in business instead of communications, I'd probably be working in some corporate office right now, wearing a suit and tie, staring at spreadsheets. Can you even imagine you in a suit and tie? That's the most unrealistic part of that scenario. I know, right? I'd be miserable. What about you? What's your alternate universe rule of doing? I think she's living on some remote island, running a little bookstore cafe by the beach. She spends her days reading books, making coffee, and surfing whenever the waves are good. That's not even an alternate universe, Rula. That's just your dream life. You're probably gonna do that someday. You think? I mean... I'm already halfway there with my love for coffee and books. Just need the beach part. And maybe a boat to get there. Or maybe you just need to start a traveling bookstore, take the whole thing on the road. Now we're talking. You could be my first customer. I'll give you a discount on your first novel. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking bigger. I'll be your business partner. We'll run this thing together. You do the books and coffee, I'll handle the travel and logistics. Deal? Deal. But you've got to drive the van, because we both know my driving skills are questionable at best. Yeah, remember that one time we were on that road trip, and you missed the exit by like 20 miles? We ended up in that weird little town with the creepy diner. Hey, in my defense, the sign was tiny. Plus, that diner had the best pancakes. Admit it. Okay, fine. The pancakes were legendary. But I'm still driving next time. Fair enough. You know what's funny? We joke about all this, but I actually love the unpredictability of life. Even the wrong turns can lead to something interesting, right? Totally. I mean, think about how we even became friends. It was one random group project in college, and now look at us, inseparable. I hated that project at the time. But yeah, now I can't imagine not having you around. Life's weird like that. Weird in a good way, though. It's like, even the little, awkward moments add up to something meaningful. Like how we laugh about the dumbest stuff now. Like your obsession with collecting random facts? Seriously, you know the weirdest things. Like, why do you even know that elephants can't jump? Because it's important. What if I'm ever on a trivia show? That'll be my winning question. You'll thank me when I'm rich and famous. Sure, Ted. I'll just be over here, waiting for your million-dollar question. Maybe by then, I'll have my beach bookstore. Deal. But speaking of random facts... Did you know that friendships that last more than seven years are more likely to last a lifetime? Really? How long have we been friends? Six years? Almost there. Yup. We're about to hit the friendship jackpot. I can't believe it's been that long. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, and I've gotta say, you've changed a lot since we first met. Oh, really? How so? Well, for one, you used to be so serious. I remember you being all about planning and schedules, and now you're talking about running a bookstore on a beach. What happened to the ruler with the five-year plan? She realized plans are overrated. 
Life never goes the way you expect it to, so why stress? What about you? How have I changed? Hmm, you've definitely gotten more laid back. But you're still the same when it comes to loyalty. You've always been that person I can count on, no matter what. Well, that's not going to change. You're stuck with me, Ted. Whether you like it or not. Trust me, I wouldn't have it any other way. But it's not all sunshine, right? We've had our rough patches too. Oh, for sure. Remember that huge fight we had when I thought you weren't listening to me? We didn't talk for, what, two weeks? Yeah, I thought we were done for good. But then you showed up at my door with that box of donuts, and I knew we'd be fine. Food fixes everything. Especially donuts. You're not wrong. But looking back, I'm glad we had that fight. It kind of taught us how to be better friends, you know? Totally. I think it made us realize that communication is key. Now we talk about everything, even the tough stuff. Speaking of tough stuff, how's your job going? I know it's been stressful lately. Ugh, don't remind me. It's been rough, to be honest. I feel like I'm just going through the motions, not really loving what I'm doing. But then again, I'm grateful to even have a job, you know? I get it. It's a weird balance between being grateful and feeling stuck. Do you think you'll ever leave and do something else? Maybe. I think about it sometimes, but then I get scared. What if I leave and it doesn't work out? What if I can't find anything better? I get that too, but what if you leave and it's the best decision you ever make? You won't know unless you try, right? Yeah, but trying is terrifying. Of course it is. But you're Rula. You're brave, you're smart, and you've got a solid head on your shoulders. Whatever you decide, you'll figure it out. Thanks, Ted. Sometimes I need to hear that. What about you? Any big life changes on the horizon? Eh, nothing major. I've been thinking about going back to school, maybe getting a master's degree, but I'm not sure yet. That would be awesome. You'd be a great professor or researcher. Plus, you could impress people with all your random facts. Oh, absolutely. I'd be the coolest professor, spitting elephant facts left and right. You're ridiculous. But honestly, I think you'd love school again. You've always been the academic type. Yeah, maybe. It's just, life feels kind of overwhelming right now. There's this pressure to have everything figured out by 25, and I don't think either of us has it all together. Who does, though? That whole, figure it out by 25, thing is a myth. I mean, look at us. We're both still figuring out who we are and what we want. And that's okay. You're right. It's okay not to have everything planned out. I just need to remind myself of that sometimes. Same here. Life is messy, unpredictable, and confusing, but it's also kind of fun that way. Exactly. Plus, we've got each other to navigate through the chaos. So even if we don't know what we're doing, at least we're not alone. And that's what matters, right? Friends to laugh with, vent to, and dream with, even if those dreams are a little crazy. Like opening a traveling bookstore cafe? Yeah. I think we're doing just fine. We're doing more than fine, Ted. We're living the adventure, even if we don't have all the answers yet. Agreed. Here's to the messy, unpredictable, and downright awesome journey ahead. You know, it's funny, every time we talk about our lives, I start thinking about the whole adulting thing. Do you ever feel like we're just kids pretending to be adults? Oh, all the time. It's like... Who decided we were qualified for this? I still feel like I'm winging it most days. There's no manual for any of this. Exactly. I mean, we pay bills, we have jobs, but then I'll eat cereal for dinner and wonder, am I really a grown-up? Cereal for dinner? Try microwave popcorn. That's peak adulthood right there. I'm with you on that. It's just weird how everyone expects us to have it all figured out. Like, when do we get the memo that says, 
Congrats, you're officially an adult. I think that Memo gets lost in the mail. Honestly, though, sometimes I wonder if anyone actually has it all together or if everyone's just pretending. Oh, they're totally pretending. You know those people who look like they've got their entire life mapped out? I bet they're just as clueless as we are, but they're better at hiding it. It's all smoke and mirrors, right? Like, social media makes it worse. Everyone's posting their perfect vacations, their perfect relationships, and I'm just here like, I didn't even make my bed today. Don't even get me started on that. Social media is just the highlight reel. No one's posting about their bad days or the times they accidentally burn their dinner. Exactly. I think we'd all feel better if we saw more real-life stuff, like people talking about their failures and mistakes. That's the kind of thing that would make me feel less like an imposter. I guess that's the secret. Enjoy the chaos while it's happening. Life's never going to be perfect, and that's okay. Yeah, perfection's overrated. I'd rather have a life full of ridiculous, messy, memorable moments. Same here. So, let's make a pact. From now on, no more stressing about being perfect. We just roll with it, flaws and all. Deal. And we'll keep each other in check when one of us starts freaking out over something dumb, like mismatched socks.